Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Captech Pro. In this video, I will explain you the overview of the crawl properties in SharePoint Online. We'll try to understand uh, what basically is the search schema in SharePoint Online and how it has worked. So friends, uh, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and before we proceed with our today's video demonstration, let me give you, uh, you know, the quite overview of what exactly is the crawl property and what basically is the search schema in SharePoint Online. So guys, basically a crawl property uh, is a content and the metadata that is extracted from an item. Here item I'm referring to a document which, uh, you know, we store inside our SharePoint sites. And uh, basically now coming back to like what is a crawl property. A crawl property uh, can be a, an author of that document, title or a subject. So to include the content and the metadata of the crawl property in the search index, we have to map the crawl property to the managed properties. I will uh, in next another video, I will explain you more about the managed properties. But on this video, we'll stick to, you know, uh, the crawl property only. So now uh, let's discuss about the search schema in SharePoint. So uh, the search schema basically controls like what we users, uh, you know, can search for, like how how we are searching on SharePoint site, uh, how we can uh, present the results on our search websites. So by, you know, customizing the search schema, we can customize the search experience in our SharePoint online. So basically what happens uh, when, uh, when we search for any content on a SharePoint site, the search only find what is in the search index in the backend and it will only show the results the user has the permission to see. Search basically discovers information by crawling items on our site. The discovered content and the metadata are called properties of that item. Not each and every uh, crawl content or metadata is useful to have in the search index. So the search schema has a list of useful types of content and a metadata, which we call the managed properties. And as being said, examples of useful metadata of the index are the author and the title of a document. So basically there are two search schema first at the tenant level and one is on the uh, site collection level. So we usually we do not have to, you know, change the default search schema for the tenant unless we want to, you know, create any customized search experience for ourselves. So we can change the search schema for the entire tenant or for a specific, you know, site uh, as well. The search schema for the site collection is based on the search schema for the tenant. So typically we can say that uh, we, we have to first, you know, make changes to the tenant level and then uh, we can then we can do it at the site collection level as well. So any changes which we'll make at the site collection level will only apply on the site collection, not to the entire tenant. So friends, uh, let's, I have uh, created one dedicated site for today's video demonstration, uh, which I have opened in the new tab. So this is my site, which I've created called crawl and managed. So uh, I will go to site contents. And now let me show you like how basically the crawl property is created. So I have uh, one document library, let me open it. So uh, these these are my some of the important files and I have you know created one column with the name of project owner and this is a choice column and these are my you know the user's name those who are the owner of these you know projects. So now if I will go back to you know my shape on admin center so I will click on more features uh, here I will open the search uh, I will click on manage search schema. Okay, so here uh, I will type my column name, uh, which is project owner. So I will give, I will type project and it will show me the crawl property of this, you know, column. So I will give it, give it a hit. So here you can see OWS underscore project owner. So this is my crawl property of this particular column. Okay, so now based on the crawl property which is created let me show you by opening this crawl property okay so here you can see the information about this crawl property like the property name is ows underscore property owner and later on uh, we can you know do the mapping with it of the managed property and based on the managed property we can you know get our search results so friends, uh, this was the quite overview. What exactly is the, you know, crawl property and how exactly it is created based on which information. 
and on now my next video will show you how to create a manage property as you can see let me show you a bit of it so once i will go to the manage properties here you can see these are the default properties which are created we can use these properties to man map the crawl property however we can create a custom manage property as well by clicking on it okay and as you can see over here like you, you can use the space to view create modify the manage properties and map it to a crawl property so it will uh, you know the search automatically extracts the crawl property from the crawl content and we can add the content of a crawl property to the search index by mapping the crawl property to a manage property so uh, guys on next video i will show you how we can create a default manage property and how it, we can map it to the crawl property so that's it that's all for this video i will see you guys on next video for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.